Yeah, so the one problem is the flying guys are the uh are have the capacity to kill me. Everybody else not so much so. Or not kill me, but threaten the town. Ah, dude, you did well to drive off the monster's last attack. But the golem's army won't be defeated that easily. It seems like another horde of monsters is already fast approaching. Ready to fend off another wave of their assault? Yes. So why did the golem destroy the people of Cantlin, you ask? It's quite simple, really. The golem began to see the humans as the greatest th threat to the city. You've been to that rune castle past the Hammerhood's village a few times, right? Let me tell you about that place. After the Dragon Lord cloaked the land in darkness, his armies assaulted Cantlin. With the last of their strength, the people of the city built that castle to serve as their last bastion against the monsters. They sealed themselves within the fortress and lived there in safety for quite some time, until they did the unthinkable. With their supplies dwindling, the people began to steal food from each other, and the vicious cycle of violence and retribution began. That castle's halls became the very picture of hell itself. It was at that moment the golem descended upon the place. But forgive me, I've been idly chatting away as the monsters drew ever closer, and now they're almost upon us. Good luck, dude. We are counting on you. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Destroyed my inn. That's the other point of fixing all this shit. It's just gonna get destroyed by the fighting. Then what's even the point? Ow. Well, at least they're doing a ton of damage to him. It's just, they're also killing all of my spikes. At least the walls are probably keeping the skeletons and stuff off. Which is handy. Unless they seem to have... Oh, some of them have gotten in. Well, that's okay. I'm probably gonna take a moment. Let's go to our items. We've got a bunch of crap here that we don't need. I really wish a lot of quest rewards would just go straight to my bank instead. So what are we after? We're after all these stone blocks that have gone missing. Really? That's... That's the amount that, that's gone? Weird. I'll grab the cladding, too. Luckily, the scorpions seem largely incapable of doing anything remotely useful. So that's good. Well, that was fast. Okay, we get yet another seed of life. Okay. I'm gonna have to build more spikes, aren't I? Especially because they do actually kind of stand around here, don't they? Yeah, I wish there was... If, if I had, uh... I wish I... I had, like, the ability to be industrious enough to somehow get my hands on enough, um... What am I thinking? Like, if I could get my hands on enough, uh, supplies to make my buildings actually impregnable. Because I'd, I'd hate to be in a situation... Well, I guess, I guess the point is we get, uh... After this, we move on to a new place, presumably. Uh, but still, you know. Okay, looks like I'm gonna want to build some more spikes after this. I'll build a couple more here. I mean, looks like we've pretty much spiked everything back up. Let's, let's go build another set. I think these are the last of the spikes I can make anyway. Oh, well. Let's see. And let's save after that last one. Okay. Because, yeah, I'd, I'd hate to, uh... I'd hate to lose in this fight and go all the way back. Let's see. Admirable work on the battlefield, dude. 
made short work of the Golem's forces. Still, we may have won the battle, but we have not yet won the war. Another beastly battalion is fast approaching, ready, uh, set for another battle. The men and women who fled from the Dragon Lord's forces and took refuge within the castle turned upon each other in an ugly display of pointless bloodshed. Upon seeing this, the Golem no doubt came to understand that the greatest threat to the city, the city it was built to protect, was mankind itself. And now, mankind has risen once more. The walls and towers we have built upon these plains will not have gone unnoticed by the Golem's ever watchful eye. And no doubt it will reach the same conclusion that it, as it did before. That in order to protect Hantlin, the humans who live here must be destroyed. Hmm? You ask why I remain here? Why I did not run the moment I learned of the threat the city faced? Heh. <laughs> I knew full well the danger that hung over this place, from the very moment I arrived here. It was always my intention to leave at the first opportunity. However, as I lived along alongside you, and Pippa, and all of Cantlin's other residents, I finally came to understand the true joy of living alongside one's fellow man. So please, dude, I beg of you, drive back these monstrous hordes, defeat the golem, and protect our home. Not just for our sakes, but for the whole of humankind. Okay. Battle begins... Don't question what I'm doing. I have a plan. Whoa, hello. I'm just gonna bonk this guy up. I don't wanna break too much. Okay. Whoops. Hmm. I guess, in retrospect, this is probably a bad idea. I was gonna reinforce the walls. But I guess this will do. Yeah, this will be fine. The skeletons are dying from spikes anyway. I dare not fight because it'll ruin my spikes. But all of my townspeople can because they don't... They mysteriously can't break anything. So let's make yet more spikes. Yeah, I should have made this inner layer just a little bit higher, probably. Luckily, these armor knights are not exactly the most durable of enemies. Well, no, they're not very smart. Don't know if anybody is going to get stuck down here. Ah. The answer is me. Never mind. We're fine. So where are they fighting? Ah, over here. That's handy. Yeah, luckily my townspeople are... Quite good at fighting here. And not too stupid. Okay. But yeah, what I'm gonna do is take this opportunity to make these balls even higher. The golem does not come inside. Oh. Okay, whatever. It'll be fine. Seems like my townspeople are pretty damn good at fighting here. So I'm not terribly worried about this. Yeah, watch as the spikes do zero damage to the golem. That is an eventuality I have come to expect, which is why I got 30 bombs. Okay, let's see. Does the cladding work? Yes. They seem, I mean, my, my villagers seem to be holding their own. I don't even need to fight here. I'm just gonna run around and fix shit up. I'm not the hero. I'm just the guy that builds shit for people. Yeah, it looks like my spikes are still doing most of their job. Monsters are defeated. Okay, and victory once again. We get another seed of life. Jeez, how many are they going to give me? I'm actually in more danger from my own my own defenses than I am from um from the enemy like monsters and stuff, which is really silly. Uh, 
okay. Be hilarious if I got myself killed here. Trying to fix everything. Okay, so we got that taken care of. All right, we're gonna fill this section. Except for, let's see how much, how many resources does it require to make a, oh, you know what? We've got this thing. I'm gonna grab that for the time being. Put away the scorpion stinger and then that. Uh, let's grab the Cantlin shield. I don't know if we're gonna need it necessarily, but it might not be a bad idea. Can I make another set of steel doors? Perfect. Okay. So yeah, what we're gonna do is double up on the walls. If I can get a bunch of enemies trapped here, that actually could be even more hilariously useful. Oh, it's another ghost wizard. Ah, he seems to be having some trouble. Okay, uh, so what we're gonna wanna do is something like this. And then we've got a whole nother layer here. Steel doors for as far as the eye can see. I, it's a temptation. I have many of them. Uh, or at least I have, I have the supplies to make as many steel doors as I probably want. Relatively easily. Okay. I think we're good. Uh, it looks like we got some more spiky holes to fill. Let's see. I guess not many. Okay. Let's see if I can convert this secondary wall into stone. Not that it matters in a lot of cases, but still useful. Okay. And then we get up here, and I've still got 62 spikes. There we go. Yeah, I think enemies are going to have some trouble getting past this. I don't know about you guys. Specifically those kind of annoying scorpions. This is ridiculous. I really do feel like I, I'm some kind of, like, anime villain here. And this is my, like, fortress. Okay. Well, let's go save and go rest. Actually, let's eat a bunch of mushrooms. How many more waves of this do we have to fight? I don't know. I pity any player that, like, goes out of their way. Uh... That, like, kind of just, like, skips past this. Uh, and it's just like, ah, whatever, I don't care about the building segment. And then they just get to this section and it's just like, oh, this, this sucks. Oh, we might actually be going into the boss fight right now, so this might be that might that effort might have been completely redundant. All right, whatever. Hey, Rollo, incredible work! You really gave those blighters what for, dude, my boy. I realize it now, or perhaps deep down, I always knew it. The fiend that rules over the mountains of this land is none other than the same golem that watched over Cantlin. I just couldn't bring myself to admit that a creation intended to protect the people might instead turn against them. Dude, if you can slay this golem, the darkness will be dispelled and the light will return to Cantlin. But before you accept this challenge, be sure you have prepared enough Wrecking Balls and Cantlin Shields. This is our last stand, the conflict that will decide whether Cantlin is a land of monsters or men. Dude, my boy, are you ready to face the final fight? Yes. Dude, I heard what LaRouche told you. It seems I was wrong. LaRouche, LaRouche and I both love this city. At times like these, I cannot help but recall the wise words of young Pippa. She had said it so often, it's becoming somewhat of a Cantlin catchphrase. I just want to build a city where we can all live together in peace. I leave the rest up to you, dude. Protect our city and let us all live in peace, together once more. Am I doing this alone? Ah oh, yeah, there goes my walls. And all my townspeople have been kidnapped. Ah. Bredo, brick and mortar slaughterer, golem. Uh, 
Oh. Are you kidding me? The golem is trying to destroy dude's base. Wait, what? Okay. Doesn't do damage to him. Can I do anything to him? He's destroyed the bistro. How do I kill him? How do I do damage to him? Oh, block the boulders with the... Oh. I get it. Where has he gone to? I get the point of this. So what I have to do is block his shots with the barricade. Is this going to work? Oh. Okay. Oh. Guess I shouldn't have used several. Let's try two. What? Are you kidding me? Got him. Alright, he's been blown up. Now time for gimmicky boss fight. We need to put away some of these things. So the spikes are totally worthless against the boss. Okay, so luckily I still have a bunch of Wrecking Balls. We should be fine, now that I know what I'm doing. Uh, swap with the spikes. Okay, there we go. Returns to his feet, and you're gonna do that? Okay, nope. He's ran somewhere else. Okay, it looks like I don't have to worry about defending the city in this situation. He's just going to be angry in the background. Ow. Okay, that's a new one. Flying golem to the everything. Kind of wish I had a leap strike or something. Oh well. Bad timing. Can't place that midair. Thank you. My spikes actually make this harder. Okay. Might actually be better if I had the hero clothing. Or something. And he messed up town bad. At least I have this. Not enough space. Okay. Uh, let's see, we only need one. Yep, there we go. They said I needed 20, I don't think that's the case. Okay. So he's gonna be f summoning folks again. You know what? Let's just corral them up into one group. What? I died? Ah, oh, crap. I was not paying attention to my HP, was I? I was totally ignoring it. Alright, well, this time we know what we're doing. So, call it close enough. Let's put away this map. Put away these. Let's put away everything that's not useful here. Spikes actually might be. God damn it. Okay. And last thing is... Oh, the bomb got me! I was like, I don't remember being that close to death, but I guess I was? 
Okay, well, let's make some bunnicorn steaks. I can only make two, but that's fine. Okay, and then we want to make beanie bunny burgers. Short attack boost should be okay, and we'll save again. I wonder if I can build in that fighting area. I presume so, but I'm not entirely sure. Okay, this time we know what we're doing. I know a hell of a lot of you guys in chat know exactly what's going on, but I don't give a shit. I use the royal Wii. Okay, so let's do this again. There's kind of this like weird outline around everything. Eh, whatever. Okay. Let's see. So everybody gets kidnapped. I was wondering where everybody was last time. Now we know. The weird part is, you'd think the golem would kidnap me and all the humans and we'd fight them outside of the city, seeing as the golem's supposed to be protecting the city? I don't know, anyway. Oh yeah, I do have more seeds of life, don't I? Yeah, we should probably grab them. Items... Yeah, I've got a ton of seeds of life. Okay, shouldn't be a problem now. Because now, we know what we're doing. Love the designs for the creatures in this game. I might not be able to make this one. Yeah, I got it. I, or I didn't get it. Empty room is destroyed. Well, that's fine, we'll live. Back to the Wrecking Ball. Not enough room. There we go. Right next to the foot. Puts him back a bit. Puts him in another. Okay. So he's gonna jump out. He's gonna jump back. Some of the Hammer Hoods. Probably switch to the steel broadsword. Uh oh. My in. There we go. Just in time. Where is he? Okay, there we go. There we go. And the bombs are totally worthwhile against the hammer hoods, as long as I don't blow myself up. Oh wait, I forgot. We want to do this. Let's see, probably don't want to do the Beanie Bunny Burger. Let's eat all the seeds of life, just in case I... Oh yeah. Do that, then we blow them up. Then we run away. Hey, can I put spikes all over the here? The way here? I could. An alternate option. Works pretty damn well against the hammer hoods. There we go. And we'll grab that, which hurt real bad. Okay. There we go. Golem goes into a frenzy. Already? Huh. Collect my spikes back. Golem is defeated. Let's grab the last of these, and we grab the weird Cantling coin looking thing. Presumably, I don't know. There we go, we got our first Tarnished Token! Okay, what's this? Ancient Emblem, long lost mark of a hero of legend, brings back the light to the skies above Cantlin. Alright, so... Actually, we only took one hit and it was to the empty room. That is like minimal damage. Sweet! By my shiny white teeth! You did it, dude! You slew the golem! 
The city of Cantlin is saved, and it's all because of you. Thank you. Hmm? Where did that rusted metal you're holding come from? C could it be the legendary? I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start boosting my HP here. Store that emblem. Righto. I don't. I assume we go over to the workbench. It's not at the workbench, maybe it's over here. Ancient emblem. Needs steel ingots, which apparently we're totally out of. Weird. Okay. Well, glad we had enough Ori Helcom for this. Okay, so we've made the ancient el emblem that Roloto asked for. By my soft and slender fingers, you've done it! You've restored the ancient emblem. This should be all we need to disperse the oppressive darkness that hangs over Cantlin. Quickly, dude, go to your banner of hope and offer the emblem to the skies. We get a bunch of herbs and stuff. Okay, save? No, that's not what I'm trying to do. I guess we just use. There we go. Bobbity bippity boop. Cutscene. Probably. Not cutscene. Random. Random. Suddenly everything goes dark. And the coin has the weather, mystical weather changing powers. Sweet. All right. And suddenly the sky is less crappy looking. Hooray! Now do we get whisked away to somewhere else to rebuild as we see fit? Hopefully we get to keep our knowledge and several other things. The light returns to Cantlin. Dude, my child, you have done well. This land has been freed from the Dragonlord's evil influence, and its people can now rebuild it by their own power. But do not forget, my child, there are so many other people in this world who still need your help. By my big round head. Dude, look, look. The sky, it's so bright. It's so big and blue and beautiful. That night, the people of Cantlin held a banquet to celebrate the return of the light and to thank dude for his heroic efforts with the city still suffering from the recent monster attacks the celebrations aren't exactly extravagant and the spread is only simple but even so the smiles and the laughter last long into the night then morning comes <laughs> so you finally woken up have you dude I laughed so hard last night I thought my sides might burst who would have ever thought LaRouche had such a wicked sense of humor? When I tried Pippa's cooking, well, uh, I thank my lucky stars I survived the first spoonful. By the way, dude, late last night I saw a strange pillar of light rising into the sky over the eastern mountains. I wouldn't be surprised if there wasn't something interesting going on over there. Perhaps you might want to head over and take a look. Uh, of course, you don't have to go if you don't want to. I just thought you might be interested. That's all. What you do with yourself from now on is entirely up to you. Okay, so is this entire town just level one? No, it's been level five this entire time. So Pillar of Light, Eastern Mountains, gotcha. Oh, right, it's that thing. I forgot, we should probably sort our inventory a bit. Or was all this town chapter one? Oh, I see what you mean. Yes, yes it was. Okay. So, I don't know if we get to bring any of it with us. So let's bring as much as we possibly can. Mine down the entire city. Nah. Okay. Oh, I might have. I might have coal. It's okay. I can live without it. Okay. Can I make any more war hammers? I don't have enough scorpion horns. I got enough full plate. Uh, let's see. Can I make another forge? Because having one of those handy would be nice. We also, I think, had a spare. Okay. Forge needs coal. Well, screw it. Mine. Uh, 
Colossal Coffer. Don't care about the Stone Stockade recipe. Don't care about most of those recipes. Wasn't there one? The Hot House. Yeah, the Hammerton Hot House we need. Uh, most of these other resources I probably don't need too much. We need those. Let's see. Seriously? Yeah, I don't have any more coal. Weird. Well, that's fine. I mean, I've got a... I got a ton of resources. Doesn't matter to me too much. If I don't get too much more than this. Let's grab the kind of rare-ish things. La eh, ladders are okay. Wood. Wood's kind of rare. I'll grab that. I really don't know which of these are going to be the most useful. So I'm trying to bring only the most necessary stuff. Teleport wings at the start of the big chest. Yes. Uh, let's see. Anything else? I don't know. Oh yeah. Mason's workstation. Probably. We'll probably get one, but you never know. Okay, I think that's enough rare, valuable materials that we can't live without. I guess I'll put away all that iron. Probably. I mean, I don't even know if we get to keep all of this stuff. We'll keep the steel because it's rare and we'll need it for supplies. Silvery sludge. I'm not sure about the Cantlin shield, honestly. The question is, do we want iron or rubies? You know, if we need rubies, we'll get rubies later. Barrels are rare. Nah, they're not. Barrels are incredibly common. And I don't need the uh, the marker things that much. In fact, I kind of don't like them. They're inconvenient. They fill my inventory and they're not all that pretty. Let's see. What if I could bring a teleportal with me? Probably not. I'm not even sure if I can bring any of these things with me. I need food, though. Bah. I'll find food. Somehow. But yeah, I think I think we'll be okay. Yep, still can't even break that. We. Let's see, you drop them in the spots you need to find your way back to. I actually have a really good sense of direction, brought on by the fact that I play altogether way too many video games. I've never been particularly worried about, um... I've never been particularly worried about finding my way back to places. Especially because this game's pretty simple and not very large. And I'd rather bring all these goodies with me so I can use them at later dates. Or immediately, really. Dude, my child, the light you see before you is a portal to the next land you must free from the Dragonlord's curse. The items, the knowledge, and the strength that you have acquired in this place will not survive the journey. The moment you pass through this portal of light, you will lose everything. But, dude, my child, should it still be your will to rid, rid this world of darkness, I bid you step into that swirling vortex without fear or regret. And be safe in the knowledge that I do watch over you always. Son of a bitch! My things! So, dude, you are leaving us at a feeling this might happen. Could you not just stay a little longer and help us rebuild, finish rebuilding Cantlin to its former glory? No, forget I said that. I was being selfish. Dude, my boy, you made me realize something. Restoring Cantlin to its former glory is not a matter of building walls and towers, but of building bonds of true friendship between our fellow townspeople. Bahaha! <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't do it. No matter how grave the occasion, I just can't make a speech as soppy as that. Go on, my boys. Step into the light. There are many places in this world that need your help far more than we do. Ah, I almost forgot something very important. There's something that Pippa insisted I give you. Though you may lose everything else on your way through the portal, if you clutch this gift tight enough, I'm sure it'll make it to your destination. Farewell, dude. May we meet again someday. <laughs> Please at least let me keep my accessories that I found. And maybe my recipes. I actually like Rillo. Oh yeah, I actually like all the characters. They don't get a whole lot of development, but they're still charming. 
Uh, let's see, what item do you need to double jump? I found it elsewhere. It was cool. Complete the chapter within 20 days, build the base up to level 5. Oh, what's this? Oh, you can build display stands in Terra Incognita. Build a Cantling Garden. Repair the graveyard. Oh. Did I save? Because I totally forgot I'm making a Cantlin. Okay. Let's see, an island, an eastern Aleph Guard where a town once stood, surrounded in the crystal clear lake. Okay, what's Terra Incogni Incognita? I saved before the boss. Did I save after the boss, though? What is Terra Incognita? Is that just the everything mode? Okay, new recipes have been unlocked in Terra Incognita. Area beyond the borders of Alfgard, where you can build freely and share your creations with other players. Okay, load save game. It's like 15 minutes ago. I probably don't care that much. Eh, you know what, we'll do this for later. I'm gonna I'm gonna continue with chair oh yeah, my controller is about to go. I'm gonna go on to chapter two tomorrow because I'm tired and sleepy and my voice is about to go. And it'll be easier if we start this tomorrow. Yeah, didn't save after the battle. I feel stupid. I guess I can easily redo that battle now that I know how to beat it really quick. Um but I I'll I'm gonna get the garden thing unlocked. We still get didn't get the twenty days thing, and I don't know if I ever will. Uh but it's still kind of fun. Anyway, for the time being, I will see you guys next time. And as always, thanks for watching.